Archerfish is a super rare rarity submarine from the Eagle Union and is part of the Belau class of submarine. She's only available during the Mirror Involution banner, which is currently having a rerun from the 21st to the 28th of June. Archerfish was launched at the Portsmouth Naval Shipyard on the 28th of May 1943. Commissioned on the 4th of September 1943, decommissioned on the 12th of June 1946, recommissioned on the 6th of March 1952, decommissioned again on the 21st of October 1955, recommissioned again on the 1st of August 1957, decommissioned and stricken on the 1st of May 1968, and sunk as a target off the coast of California on the 19th of October 1968. Archer Fish did the usual tasks an American submarine did in the Second World War. Here are her more interesting exploits. Attacked three ships but scored no kills while patrolling north of Taiwan. Was refitted after patrolling near the Palau Islands. Rescued a downed aviator, Ensign John B. Anderson, during the strikes on Iwo Jima. Provided lifeguard services for B-29 strikes on Tokyo. Spotted IGN Shinano, Hamakaze, Yukikaze, Isokaze, and CHA-241 leaving Tokyo Bay. Commander Joseph F. Enright tracked the carrier group, and after six hours, Shinano turned into Archer Fish's path. Archer Fish fired six torpedoes while submerged, four of which hit. Enright set the torpedoes to run shallow in hopes of capsizing Shinano. After avoiding depth charges, Enright saw Shinano listing to its right and heard loud, breaking up sounds for 47 minutes. After the patrol, the Office of Naval Intelligence believed that no carriers were in the area and that Archerfish sunk a cruiser. After being provided with sketches from Enright, the Archerfish was given credit for sinking a 28,000-ton aircraft carrier. In reality, Shinano was the biggest aircraft carrier of World War II, and originally the third Yamato battleship, but had been converted to a 72,000-ton supercarrier after the Battle of Midway patrolled the South China Sea with Batfish and Blackfish, entered Tokyo Bay with 11 other submarines, conducted oceanographic work. In her character art drawn by Crab Beam, Archer Fish wears a white, blue, and red cheerleader skirt with portholes that show her panties, a lace-up blue, white, and red top with two stars on it, a white tail that ends in an anchor, white, blue, and red toeless shoes with rudders, a holster for a pistol on her upper left thigh with pistol in tow, two star hairpins, a tan line across her body, a heart with an arrow through it on her lower back, and a large rectangular hairpin. Her rigging consists of the main part of a submarine hull, with the control sticks being placed directly behind her, and two torpedoes flying along beside her. In the background, part of Shinano's rigging, the sword, can be seen in reference to Archerfish sinking Shinano. There are also pieces of coral and water waves around her as well. I also don't understand why the control sticks are placed behind her. That would be uncomfortable. She also has her coquettish bunny outfit available for purchase with gems. Archerfish wears a white collared button-up crop top with a short black tie that has the same design as the tattoo she has. A partially unzipped red corset with anchor zipper, black thigh highs with garter straps, red shoes with fur trim, a holstered pistol on her lower right thigh, visible tan lines, a white fur coat, red bunny ears, and cuffs on her wrists. She sits on a bar stool with a fully stocked bunny fridge to her right that has two sleeping manjus in front of it, one with a bottle, a table, and a plant to her left, with the table having two wine glasses, two bottles of wine that are labeled as coffee for some reason, and five cans. The bar she sits in front of has a martini glass with a cherry in it, two bottles of coffee, I guess, a meowficer with a bow tie and cocktail shaker, a lamp, plant, and a shelf with bottles of coffee alcohol. In her voice lines, voiced by Hikaru Akao, who also voices Hinata and Hikage in Fire Force, Mark 23 and QSB-91 in Girls Frontline, Bubble in Arc Knights, and Koharu Shimoe in Blue Archive, Archerfish thrives on teasing the commander. Ha-ha! <laughs> 
来てみないなんて、もっと音が赤くなったのあはは、<笑>面白そう指揮官への愛情たっぷりのスープの出来上がり<笑>先に味見してみないじゃあ、スプーンに、じゃなくて、はい、この指先についてるのを味わってみない新しいメール私も見ていいちょっと距離縮められるね。おかえりなさーい。あ、なった。<笑>また赤くなった。<笑>指揮官、仕事中は集中が大事よ。私がいるから集中できないなんてなくない？<笑>海に出るときに可愛い女の子がいればさ。指揮官、もっと楽しくなると思わないわあ、頭を触るだけ。別のご褒美は<笑>もう、せっかちなんだから。こういうの、ダメよ。<笑>有能でイケてる指揮官は任務なんて、テキパキこなせるって聞いたよ。At level 125 with max strengthening and affinity, Archerfish has 1,971 HP, 66 firepower, 537 torpedo, 96 reload, 43 evasion, light armor, 16 speed, 197 accuracy, 90 luck, 243 oxygen, 2 ammunition, and consumes 7 oil. Her hunting range looks kind of like a fish. Archerfish has two skills and an AOA, with the skills focusing on torpedo damage. Her first skill, Haughty Hunters, increases Archerfish's damage against heavy armor by 15%. When she's sortied with at least one other Eagle Union sub, all Eagle Union subs get plus 15% crit damage and plus 8% torpedo and accuracy. Her second skill, Parting Gift, increases Archerfish's oxygen by 20%. When she resurfaces and when she leaves battle, Archerfish fires a torpedo barrage. This barrage does 768, 960, and 1248 torpedo damage to light, medium, and heavy armor, respectively. Her AOA is proc'd immediately after Archerfish enters the battle. Her AOA does 216, 270, and 405 torpedo damage to light, medium, and heavy armor, respectively. With some torpedoes having a 25% chance to slow enemy movement for 3 seconds. The recommended equipment for Archerfish is two Mark 20 Bitter Torpedoes for great sub torpedoes with weak homing capabilities, a twin 100mm Type 98 for a gold auxiliary gun that increases hunting damage when the sub fleet is in support mode, a Type 93 Pure Oxygen Torpedo for a massive torpedo stat buff. The pressure resistant hull design for a better accuracy, and the dagger that provides an evasion and accuracy buff, as well as a 10% torpedo crit rate buff. Archerfish is top of her class when it comes to submarines. She does high damage normally and higher damage with barrages, as well as having good patterns when firing them. Her second skill procs when leaving and surfacing, with her first skill providing great buffs to other Eagle Union subs, herself included. If she's paired with other Eagle Union subs, which I would recommend to be Albacore, then have someone like Leonardo da Vinci fill the last slot. As for cons, there's the obvious availability issue as she's only available during the Mirror Involution event. There's also the fact that she can miss out on a large buff to herself and possibly two other subs if there's no other Eagle Union subs in the same fleet as her. And her second skill only being able to be proc'd twice per battle when she resurfaces. And when she leaves. Outside of that, Archerfish is probably one of the best subs in Azure Lane, only possibly being outclassed by Iron Blood U boats who gain Wolf Pack buffs. But she's also a submarine, and personally, at least from my experience, I don't really find the use of submarines to be able to turn the tide of a battle whenever they're brought in. Again, overall, at least in my opinion, submarines aren't all that high on the priority list. But if you have her and want to fill out your submarine fleet, she's a good choice to raise. Thank you for watching. Please follow my Twitter for updates. I also stream, and please check out my other Azure Lane videos as well.